Hi, um, I'm just here in this, it's a Ford Fiesta uh, 1.4 TDCI, um, it's a 2007 model, um, it was given to me by a friend because it's not running well at all, um, it's really really lumpy, um, I think it's got some injector issues, um, I've plugged it into the scan tool already, um, and I'll give you a, a snapshot of what what scan what uh, full codes came up? Uh, basically, we got uh, three or four injector codes, um, looking like it's cylinder one, two, and three, um, and the injectors that are related to those cylinders. I'll I'll explain more because the the, the full codes come up with injector numbers which are not necessarily the same as the cylinder numbers. Um, it's a bit confusing. Um, because the injector, the injectors are numbered in terms of firing order uh, rather than cylinder number, um, I've discovered. So um, I'll um, put some photos on the video to try and explain that because it's a little bit confusing. Anyway, I'm going to start the engine and let you know, um, and you can so you can see how badly it runs if the, the battery is really really weak so it might not even start up at all oh there we go all right she's started uh, don't know if you can hear it but it's the whole car's kind of shaking and yeah it's running really 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 quite rough um, I mean I have driven it um, very slowly it goes into limp mode almost straight away um, there's definitely at least one cylinder not firing, not working properly. The whole engine shaking around there. Um, got the jump pack on it because it wasn't. Uh, the battery is so weak because it's been sat around for about a year. So. Um, so we've got some injector issues, I'm going to strip it back a bit and try unplugging, um, I, I believe it might be injector, sorry, cylinder number two, uh, and the, the cylinders are numbered from the gearbox side on this car, so that adds a bit more confusion to the, the whole injector thing. Uh, so I think it's cylinder number two because I'm getting a, a cylinder two circuit code. Uh, cylinder one and three, I'm just getting injector codes, whereas cylinder two is getting a, an injector code and a cir injector circuit code. So um, I think I'm going to start with that one. Try, I'll switch it off, unplug the injector if I can. It's buried under here, so I need to take the air box off, um, and then try start it up. Uh, I've I've heard that you don't want to be um, unplugging injectors and connecting them back up while the engine's running because you can break them because they're like fancy piezo injectors I think um, so I'm going to do it with the engine off start it up see if it if it doesn't run any if it doesn't if it's still running about the same um, I can I can sort of pretty confidently say that the injector that I've just unplugged is bad because it if it, if it runs worse, then I know that the injector I've just unplugged is probably a good injector, if you know what I mean. So, um, I'm going to see how it goes. Right, I've, um, I've taken the airbox off. Uh, I've unplugged injector. Um, this is, so that's cylinder one, cylinder two, cylinder three, cylinder four. So I've unplugged cylinder two injector. Um, so, I'm going to go... I've got my jump pack switched on, I'm going to go start the car now. Right, I just went to start the car and uh, realised I didn't actually have my jump pack plugged in, so let's try that again. Um, yeah, it wouldn't even turn over, so we need the jump pack. Um, so it's plugged in, I've got this, this is the top done. JS2000, it's really good actually. Um, so you've got this little boost, if the battery's really flat you've got a boost button on the side you can push and that will give it 
um, an extra an extra boost. So here we go. Let's see if this see if this starts and if it sounds any different uh, with that number two cylinder injector unplugged. Right, started. So that jump pack's made a big difference, getting it going. Uh, still running lumpy. Um, yeah, the car's vibrating still. Sounds pretty much the same as it was before, so I think that number two injector is not, it's either a bad injector or the wiring to it is bad or the EC, ECM, ECU, um, whatever you want to call it, is is bad. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it's probably the injector because these Fiestas, I think, looking online, these 1.4 engines are pretty prone to injector problems. Um, I've got my got my scan tool here, so I'm just going to have a look at the trouble codes on it. Um, Yeah, so they're yeah, they're all the same trouble codes. So we've got the number cylinder number, number two injector circuit open and shorted, um, which again proves that the, the I've got the cylinder order right. So it's number one cylinder one is at the um, the gearbox end, cylinder four is at the belt end, which is kind of goes against convention. I think because the cars I've worked on previously, cylinder one has been at the belt end, cylinder four has been at the gearbox end. Um, so I was a little bit unsure about that. So, and that's that's good to confirm that. And then we've got these other injector codes. Um, I'll just show you that you've opened up the question mark there. So cylinder one, injector one. I'm going to ignore the injector number because that's just confusing because as you'll find with the other cylinders um, the injector number doesn't always correlate to the cylinder number because the, the injectors are numbered in firing order rather than so actually location so so we've got a cylinder one issue it says we've got a cylinder two issue um, yeah so it says may be caused by powertrain control module, PCM fault or injector fault, inspect connectors for damage, water ingress, corrosion and so on. Um, so that's cylinder one, cylinder two, and cylinder three. And what I'm wondering is, um, if cylinder two's got an issue, I'm wondering, because the engine's trying to compensate for that bad cylinder, whether these cylinder one and cylinder three codes are kind of erroneous they might they might be just kind of phantom codes brought about by cylinder two i think that's what i'm hoping for because i don't want to change three injectors because they're expensive um and the car is just not worth it because if you look at it it's kind of uh, a little bit a little bit tired it's got a bit of mold um it needs a good clean up really. I'm sure it would come up nice. It's only got 83,000 miles, so it just seems um, seems too good to scrap. Um, because these diesel engines should last quite well, I would think. Um, I think just the injectors are the problem area for them. So what I'm gonna do is I turn the engine off, plug in cylinder two, then I'm gonna unplug cylinder one and cylinder three in turn um see I'm expecting that when that happen when I do that the car will run even worse and that will kind of prove to me that cylinder one and cylinder three are actually good and I don't need to change them, I don't need to worry about them. So I'll see how that goes. Alright, I've um unplugged cylinder one now. So I'm gonna start it up. Okay, that's interesting. 
so that it still starts the car so um, but it does feel worse like it's even more lumpy now if you can see the camera shaking um, that's That's even worse. Yeah, so I'm thinking cylinder one is a decent injector and cylinder two is still contributing a bit, but not a lot. Um, so I'll just, I'll just read the trouble case. I did clear them, I did clear them last time. Um, so we've got injector cylinder number one, circuit shorted. The other codes have all disappeared, so yeah, that's confirming what I what I was suspecting. So right, I'll just I'll turn the engine off, um, plug in number one, unplug number three, and see if we uh, we get the same result. Right, so I've un I've plugged in number one, and I've unplugged number three now. So I'll start her up again and see what happens. Oh, yeah, I didn't like that at all. Uh, yeah, it doesn't want to start. Um, so I wonder if that's brought up any trouble. Okay, I won't because I've. There's not a lot of battery power left. Um, I'm not going to keep going. I'm going to read the codes. Hmm. Injector one open and shorted. Okay. I wonder if I didn't. I didn't clear them properly. Up. I, I, I was a bit late turning the ignition on. Let's. Um. Clear those trouble codes. Okay. I'll read again. I'm, the engine might not have been running long enough to actually pick up a code from it. So we'll see. No. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to say, because it's been so it's so bad to start with number three unplugged I'm gonna say that number three is good so I'm gonna go ahead and change number two injector because I I have got a second hand one off eBay so I'm gonna go ahead and change that I think and see what happens I'll let you know hi um, right I've changed uh, changed this number two injector um, got a bit dark a few hours have passed by and uh, so I've changed this number two injector down here um, I've rebuilt it as much as I can well as much as I want to um, I still I've left the airbox off for now just in case I need to do any more work under here um, I've given it a few squeezes on this priming bowl here because I don't think this car has a hasn't got a lift tank in the a lift pump in the tank in the fuel tank so I think it just relies on suction to feed the engine so it might be a bit tricky to start um, the jump pack might not do it I might need to get my car my other car alongside and jump start it but I'll give it a try I'll give it a try um, so basically there's a lot of other videos on YouTube of how to actually change the injectors so I won't I didn't want to um, go through all that because there's some really good videos on how to change injectors on these engines. Um, but for now, I'll get this jump pack plugged in and give it a try, see if, um, see if it works. Right, I'll just put you down for a sec. down 
to two two bars on the jump pack. So hopefully it's got enough juice. Give it a boost. All right, here goes. Fingers crossed. We've got enough power to get it started. Uh, it's really dark in here, sorry. Hey. Hey, that actually sounds decent. Started up first time. That's way better than it was. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not misfiring. There's a slight kind of judder as you accelerate, but that's way better than it was. Unless, um, yeah, that's actually running. It's not misfiring. It's running fine. I think it needs a good service. Um, my um, person who I got it from um, said it was due a service. The oil's pretty black in there. Um, yeah. I'll just show you around the front. Yeah, before the engine was vibrating around as it was misfiring, but that's steady as a rock now. Um, I haven't got the airbox on, so the MAF sensor's unplugged, so maybe it was hesitating slightly because it's not getting an accurate um, mass airflow reading. So I'll build it up properly, and that should be that should be good. So. Yeah, I'm really happy about that. Uh, the battery is needs replacing anyway, and it needs an MOT, like an annual test. But other than that, I think that's a fix. So thanks very much for watching. Bye. Thank you.